The St. Mary's Water Recycling Plant uses reverse osmosis to further treat wastewater after the ultrafiltration process. Reverse osmosis membranes are constructed from a membrane flat sheet. It is comprised of three layers, a polyester fabric support base, a microporous polysulfone layer, and a 0.2 micron thick polyamide barrier layer. The polysulfone layer strengthens the very thin barrier layer. It is the barrier layer that removes nutrients, chemicals, bacteria, and viruses from the water. The membrane flat sheet is combined with a sheet of feed channel spacer. This provides turbulence and creates space between the membrane sheets for the feed water. A sheet of permeate spacer is added to the membrane sheets and feed channel spacer. This enables the final recycled water product, or permeate, to flow evenly across the entire membrane surface, even under high pressure. The back of the membrane is completely sealed to the edges of the permeate spacer. The membrane sheets are glued along each of the three exposed sides and rolled around the core tube. Feed water is forced through the feed channel spacer and into the barrier layer of the membrane. Water passes through the membrane surface into the permeate channel. It flows in a spiral direction and collects in the core tube. This water is the final recycled water product, or permeate. There are seven spiral wound elements loaded in one pressure vessel. Once the end adapter is connected to the last element and the pressure vessel is sealed, feed water can be introduced. Feed water is pumped at high pressure into the vessel. As it travels, small molecules like water pass through the membrane, while larger particles such as salt, bacteria and viruses do not. The final recycled water product is collected from the end of the elements. The concentrate or reject from that vessel flows to another stage, producing more recycled water. At St. Mary's, there are six reverse osmosis treatment trains, each with three stages. This design produces the highest amount of recycled water with reduced concentrate waste. Stage 1 has 52 pressure vessels, Stage 2 has 24 pressure vessels, and Stage 3 has 12 pressure vessels. 58 million litres of feed water enters the reverse osmosis system on a daily basis. As the feed water passes through each stage, more recycled water is extracted. 65% of recycled water is extracted at stage 1. The remaining 35% is passed through stage 2, where a further 10% is extracted. The final 25% is passed through stage 3, where the last 5% of recycled water is extracted. 80% of all feed water is recovered as recycled water. An average of 50 million litres of recycled water is produced every day at St Mary's. The remaining concentrate contains so much salt and impurities that to recycle it would not make economic sense. This concentrate stream of 8 million litres a day is sent to North Head Wastewater Treatment Plant where it is treated and released into the ocean.